What's up? Welcome back to another video here with me, Rich Aesthetic. Uh, if you haven't noticed, things are changing pretty much video to video. This is my first time filming with the 16 millimeter. Um, I have to say, like getting into cameras, it's not as easy as hitting like a 0.5, a 1, or a 3 on like my iPhone 13 Pro Max, where I understand, you know, what's going on with the the focal length. I guess is what that is called. But with the real camera, quote unquote, um, I, yeah, going from the 50 to the 35, which I thought was going to be wide enough to now the 16, where I can get like right up here into the face of y'all is crazy. Anyways, today is a video on the Logitech, whoa, almost dropped it, the Logitech Vert, or the Logitech Vertical, um, for business, I think, and then the Logitech MX Master 3. Anyhow, so this is this is going to be fun. Um, first, to vert or not to vert, I want to share with you guys my opinion um, before I actually tell you the whole differences. I've been using the vertical mouse for a month exclusively and then a month kind of switching either day by day or week by week with the Master 3. And that was after the month that I took to get used to it. Now I work at my computer all day. Um, my hobby, this YouTube channel is obviously done on a computer. And then my work as an English teacher since the pandemic has been affecting China still, that is online as well. So everything I do is pretty much at my computer. I spent a lot of time in front of my computer. So I love my tech stuff as you guys can imagine and you guys probably love your tech stuff too. So I took that month to get used to it because definitely the first day I would, I didn't like it the first day and I'm sure most people wouldn't like it. It just feels weird. Um, the first of all, the first comparison I want to make is about the weight. The MX Master 3 is a lot heavier at and the Vert is quite a bit lighter at, but you'll see from the size comparison that they are quite, the, the, the oh no, my light. All right, I figured out temporarily my lighting woes. We'll have to deal with it. Sorry for the dramatic change in the mood of this video. But getting back to the mice. So what you're going to see in this first comparison, I want to show you what it looks like to use. So I took a couple different angles shots, you know, of using these mice. And the most annoying thing that I actually noticed for both mice, when you're resetting, there's a different way of resetting the mouse. You know, when you get too far off to the outskirts of your mouse pad or whatever, you have to readjust to the center, but you can't move the mouse, obviously resetting. So for the MX Master 3, you're lifting the mouse because it's heavier. And also with the way your hand is on the mouse, you're able to grab it side to side and move it over. But with the, the, the vert, because it's on this like downward angle here. Um, it's harder to grab it like that unless you have your pinky all the way down low, which in my usage I did not. And unless you want to grab with like the upper parts of your hand, which just doesn't feel very natural to me. And the whole point of this mouse is being natural. So what I would do is literally tip my hand, go over, set the sensor back down, right? That was probably the biggest change in functionality. Then getting into the differences in their build quality, because the vert feels lighter, I'm not gonna lie, but it, it also does feel a bit cheaper. That being said, the build quality is pretty similar, although the seam on the vert is a lot more noticeable. And then you don't get the nice metal scroll wheel that the MX Master comes with that you can also like spin harder. So then it'll release the ratchet and then it just is a free spinning wheel. You don't get that with the mouse. But one thing that you do get is on the fly mouse tracking speed changing and you can change the speed or you can switch in between two presets. So if you have apps where you need to be more precise, like let's say Pixelmator Pro or Photoshop or something, then you can switch into that preset, which might be slower. But then if you go back onto, you know, surfing the internet, looking for assets or whatever, tap of the button, then your mouse tracking speed will change. That gets me into another annoyance though. In Logitech Options, which is the new app, this is not supported. But what is supported are the new Logitech 
lift mice that just came out, which are newer. But for me, I bought this after those mice came out. So for me, this is new. So my new mouse is not supported on the new app, but their new mice are. This is a little bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the Logitech vertical mouse exclusively here for a minute. So you have configurable buttons here on this side where you can change it on an app by app basis. You obviously can change the tracking speed on an app by app basis, the scroll speed and so on in the Logitech Options app, the old one, which is very nice. But something I noticed with the Logitech Vert, which is different from the MX Master 3, you can't change the speed of like the presets if you have app by app settings. So if I'm in a Safari app, unless I have changed the tracking speed to the same as the default, if I ever change the default to a faster speed, once I switch into Safari, it'll go back to the speed that my mouse was at the day I made the Safari preset, okay? So that's really annoying because if you start getting better with the mouse and you actually wanna speed it up to make it feel more natural to you, if you have like 10 different apps that you have different configured buttons for, you have to go into each of those 10 apps and change your tracking speed. So I really haven't been making too many presets because I keep forgetting. So I go into four different apps now and I didn't want to deal with having to set it all to be the same tracking speed. And now I have four different speeds of the mouse. So, so that's a little bit. I, I feel like that's some, something that if you are someone who is going to rely on the presets, but you want something that's more comfortable for your arm, just be aware that as of now with the current firmware, it does not change tracking speed conveniently. But the word I just said, ergonomics, that is why people should buy the mouse and I feel like if you're watching this video it's because you're interested in something if you're in front of your computer every single day and you're just you know sitting there and editing doing whatever it is that you need to do and you're a heavy mouse user the vert the vert might be getting rid of a lot of the pain you might be feeling here on your I think this is the anterior side if it's not anterior then it would at least be the inside of your arm and also in your wrist so if you ever, you know, you set your arms down by your side, when you lift them up, your hands are still facing each other. The palms are facing each other, right? But we put ourselves in this weird, awkward position where our arms come up and then you have to lay your hands down flat. This is why you have all those custom keyboards now where they're separated down the middle for you to, you know, raise your arms and then set down your arms more naturally because as you can see, your hands are not like this. Your hands are like this when you just lift them up naturally, right? So that's kind of cool. The vert does the same thing where instead of forcing your hand to be in this position where your palm is straight down, you are now able to just have your hand be more natural or so is the idea. I think the mouse is too light and that's funny for me to say because you can see my hand is no issue with the mouse. It's quite large. It can reach all the buttons without an issue. But the mouse just being as light as it is, and unless I've just not figured out how to use it correctly in the last month, well, two months, it just doesn't feel right for it to be that light. If you're looking for something that is going to relieve any stress you may be feeling, and if you have more you know, sensitive or aching bones than I may have, this might be the mouse for you. But let's talk about the MX Master 3 for a moment. So when it comes to customizability of what the buttons can do, this is the mouse to go with. So honestly, even if you are, you know, having pains or whatever, if you're jumping from Pixelmator Pro to Affinity Designer to Photoshop to Final Cut to Premiere, Safari, I don't know what your workflow is, but if you're jumping from app to app, you're going to want to use this mouse just because of the convenience of being able to set your tracking speed separately from having all your app presets. Additionally, 
the scroll wheel on the MX Master 3 is so much nicer. I don't know why they put this piece of poop <laughs> that feels like it's from a, you know, cheap $10 Logitech mouse into such a nice, you know, vertical mouse. That's really an oversight from the engineering team. This scroll wheel though, like I said, if you flick it hard enough, it just turns into a free spinning wheel. You can change the mode of the scroll wheel by pressing the button, which will then release the ratchet. So it's always going to be a free spinning one. Whatever you want, you have the customizability. And then the sideways scrolling thumb wheel. This is big. Now I use, if you can see, I have my trackpad over here for my left arm, which I'm actually using for the side to side scrolling. So you may be thinking, Rich, why are you so impressed with the thumb wheel? Tab switching. In macOS, having one window for your app, but then different tabs open for different files or I guess finder spaces that you want to be in is pretty much the norm. Being able to sideways scroll through those tabs is a big, big time saver, especially when you're just using, you know, two, maybe three tabs. Obviously, if you have four or more tabs, it might be faster to just click into the tab you need to get into. But for most of my workflows, I'm only using two or three tabs. So being able to quickly scroll both left and right through those tabs is huge. That's also something that is missing from the MX Vert. So. So yeah, we're at the end of the video. Have you decided to vert or to stay flat? Let me know down in the comments below which mouse you use, which mouse you plan on using, and what do you think would be better. Um, the nice thing about Amazon is you're able to order something and return usually within a week or two window. So go ahead, check the links down below. They are not affiliate links. I am not at that level yet. Um, but if you want to support me, I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I'm hoping to hit that before the end of the summer as I am a teacher and then I'll have to go back to a more laid off schedule of video posting, probably back to one a week. Whereas in the summer, once I get some of these other desk setup stuff that I'm waiting for, I'll be at two videos a week. So this is the road to 1,000. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button if you want to help. Hitting the like button helps too, and the best thing you could do for me is share the video with your friends who are maybe in the business of looking to get some mice. So, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Rich Aesthetic, out.